I want to be able to quickly see which invoices are overdue. I need to be able to identify which of these tasks are overdue. And this is something that I get asked about on a regular basis. So in this video, I'm going to show you a simple way to do it. In fact, the solution that I demo is something that I've used in one of my own spreadsheets. The one that I use to track my bookings, my invoices and my payments. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the practice file from the link in the description below. So here I have a list of the training courses that I delivered during October and November last year. I've made the data up, but my real life spreadsheet is structured in a very similar way. I want to highlight the invoice numbers where the delivery date, that's the date I deliver the training, is more than 30 days from today. For the demo, Let's pretend today is the 1st of December 2024. I've typed that into F1, but in the real world, I would put equals today, open bracket, close bracket into F1. And that way, Excel will always display the current date in that cell. To highlight the invoice numbers, I'm going to use conditional formatting. So I'll select A2 to A24 because those are the cells that I want to highlight. On the Home tab of the ribbon, click on Conditional Formatting and click on New Rule. Now on the Mac version of Excel, I need to set the style to Classic. You don't need to do that on Windows. And then I choose Use a Formula to determine which cells to format. You choose that on both Windows and Mac. On the Mac, you can see it's a drop down list. On Windows, there's just a list. But either way, use the Use a Formula option. I'll enter the formula in a minute. I'm going to apply the formatting I want first. And you can see it defaults to light red fill with dark red text. On that drop down, there are a few predefined ones, but I'm going to go for Customized Format and then going to go to the fill section and set the background color to red and the font section and set the font color to white and click OK. So that's the format that I want to apply. This is the formula that I'm going to use. It's going to apply the formatting, as I say, only if the result of F1 minus B2 is more than 30. Now that looks quite straightforward, but there are a couple of gotchas. So I'll click into the formula box there and type an equal sign and then click on F1. And if I click on the cell rather than typing F1, it puts the dollar signs in, which in this case is what we want because we want the conditional formatting applied to all the cells and each cell needs to refer to F1. So F1 needs to be absolute. Then I'll type in a minus sign and then I'll click on B2. Now I could have typed B2, but I think it's easier to click. Again, Excel automatically puts the dollar signs in, but I don't want them because I want the conditional formatting in A2 to reference B2, but the conditional formatting in A3 to reference B3 and so on. Now, if I use the left arrow key to move the cursor to the left within that formula box and then backspace out the dollar signs, Excel actually thinks I'm using the left arrow key to select a cell and it's moved the cursor to A2. So I'll right arrow key back to B2 and I'm going to then use function key F4 and I'm going to press that as many times as is needed to remove the dollar signs. You can see I'm cycling through the different states of absolute with the F4 key. Now, if you're following along, depending on how your computer's configured, you might need to press Fn and F4. I do on mine, but I remember I had an old laptop where pressing Fn and F4 activated mute, whereas on this laptop, F4 on its own activates mute. So you need to know whether the F keys on your computer are activated on their own or in conjunction with the FN key. Anyway, finally, 
I'm going to type a greater than sign and 30. And then click on OK. And magically, the cells in column A appear in red where there are 30 days or more between the two dates. So let's pretend it's now the 2nd of December. If I'd used the today function in F1, it would automatically update. But for the demo, as I said, I can't do that. So I'll manually edit it. What should happen is that the invoice number 1239 changes to red. And that's because the 1st of November is 30 days from the 1st of December, but it's 31 days from the 2nd of December. So let's go up to F1, edit the date. So it's the 2nd of December. And there you go. One final thing I'm going to show you. I'm going to edit the rules. So if I go up to the conditional formatting button, select manage rules, change the show formatting rules to this worksheet. There's the rule I created, select it and click edit. On Windows, the edit button is at the top of the dialog box. I'm going to change the rule. So instead of F1 minus B2, I'm going to type today, open bracket, close bracket, minus B2. Doing it this way means that I don't even need to have a cell showing today's date. Well, I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up. If you'd like more Excel tips and tricks, check out my website at theexceltrainer.co.uk. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. But until then, have an excellent day.